Hello friends, Frank from Germany again. Now we want to mill this holder and I measure the distance between the e collet shaft and uh, yeah, the set axis from my CNC machine. Sorry for the arm, I forgot. <laughs> you see 36 millimeters, 37, it's also okay. <clears throat> and the diameter from the e collet shaft is, you will see after my arm, 14 millimeters and now you can calculate the distance plus the half the radius from the diameter and uh, 36 plus 7 yeah, you can calculate this yourself okay now we put uh, a two millimeter um, end mill with only one flute um, to my CNC machine. You see also this little uh, white plastic stop ring. I want to make a show um, about this. It's very cool. And now I measure the height of the Z axis. Um, I forgot uh, how high is my touch sensor. Now I do it again. <laughs> and you see <coughs> after some stupid things we can start to mill. You see also my new uh, HF spindle. Yeah, it's from China, cost only uh, 180 euros. It was a very good investigation, but my holder looks a little bit now. Nah. Um, not very professional, but it's a uh, do it yourself. Now we start milling the holes for the stepper. Also, I recognize I, I change a little bit um, um, the holes because um, the problem was uh, it was not on the right place. And you will see when you make also projects, you only change your uh, Camden files and CNC files. Also, I recognize that the holes for the uh, uh, devices sometimes too small or too big. Yes, and you must change this, change this on your Kanban files, but it works, it's very cool. And <clears throat> you see now we mill the second uh, stepper holder. It's uh, only four holes for the screws and uh, one big hole for the shafts and for other things on the stepper. And now uh, I change the camera hopefully and the next day ah now I change the camera very cool and I have to uh, make some bigger holes on this screw holes because my screws are not so long um, it's easy to make a pocket with five millimeter deep and uh, then it's cool uh, the process was very long now you see don't see this because I uh, make fast rewind this this video but uh, next time. I can mill uh, with uh, one increment deep from 2.5 mm or so. It's, it's better. The HF spindle are so powerful, it's amazing. And uh, I can uh, mill very fast, faster as in this video. And uh, yeah, next time I mill my prototype a little bit faster. Now <clears throat> you see he makes his little pockets uh, for the screws and so on. And the uh, the profile. Also, I have uh, some little uh, holders between the rest of the material and uh, this holder. You will see this um, in one minute. And uh, it's very nice because um, I show you this in a in a in a first video session. You can. Uh, make automatically material holder or so yes. and uh, the, you see also the materials HDF or MDF uh, it's uh, very easy to mill it's um, a thankful material yeah, it's, uh, I'm, every time I'm awesome how good this meaning you see also um, the, the the material uh, yes I now uh, Make it uh, clean this uh, uh, table. And now you see this little hoops, hoops, and hoops. Uh, <laughs> that's the holders. 
and you can uh, broke this material from the other material with your hands. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Um, now we are finished. Now, remove the clamps and then I have to move a little bit the machine. Yeah, cool. So, and now you can see. It. Uh, it's very easy to move, yeah? and, and also uh, the prototype is easy. You see one hole for the camera, the middle hole is for the spindle, and here you see the little hold uh, stakes, and now you see the original prototype. It's my first prototype. I recognize it's a little bit too small. Yes, and I make a second one. Here you see a photo. Uh, what I figure out with this prototype, you see uh, the spritze and other things. I hope you like it and have fun.